Missouri with wildlife. And while most of the time there are no issues, sometimes animals and humans can come into conflict when critters cause damage while living nearby. We refer to them as nuisance wildlife. In this video, we will focus on an often seen waterfowl that love to reside in lakes, ponds, and the areas that surround them, the Canada goose. First, a few things about Canada geese. These geese are native to Missouri. Many are migratory, but some have now become permanent residents here in both rural and urban areas. When concentrated in large numbers, their feeding habits and droppings can result in nuisance and damage. Canada geese, especially when nesting, can be aggressive. Today, we will discuss some proven methods for controlling geese. An easy first step is to not feed the geese. Feeding concentrates them and makes geese more aggressive toward people because food is expected. Stopping all artificial feeding methods will force these geese to make do with plants found along the shoreline. If a body of water is in a public area, post no feeding signs and enforce this. You may want to consider modifying the habitat around the water by managing the types of grasses and plants grown there. Canada geese prefer to eat grass, especially young succulent shoots abundant in mowed fertilized lawns. If you don't wish to change the turf currently around your body of water, just eliminate mowing. Taller grass is less palatable and can hide potential predators. Stop mowing at least 20 feet or more from pond shorelines. This encourages geese to look for safer spots with better food sources. If you're up for replanting, consider prairie grasses. Tall, lush native prairie grass stands along shorelines provide the same benefits as not mowing. And for geese, prairie grasses are less appetizing than turf grass. Also, native plantings can serve as good habitat for pollinators. Canada geese prefer areas with minimal disturbance. If someone or something bothers them enough, they typically move to another area. These techniques are most effective January through March, before breeding and nesting begins. Geese can become accustomed to some techniques if they learn they won't be harmed. You may want to combine several different techniques for better results. Physically chasing the geese is an inexpensive way to begin harassment. Lots of methods work. You can do this yourself on foot or use a golf cart. If the geese are on the water, a boat works fine. Or you can use an inexpensive remote controlled toy boat to disperse the geese. You can even go high tech and use a drone, making sure to follow all state and local regulations for your area. Now dogs are another method some folks use. While there are businesses available to hire highly trained border collies, any athletic, medium to large dog capable of obeying commands can be used. Obeying commands is important as these dogs are not allowed to catch, injure, or kill a Canada goose. Dogs work well, as they can chase the geese both on land and in the water. Lasers are another tool that can disperse Canada geese. They are most effective in low light conditions, but new technology is increasing daytime effectiveness. Pyrotechnics and loud sounds can be used to frighten geese, encouraging them to move on. Class C fireworks and large bottle rocket type devices that whistle loudly and explode can scatter geese. These may be used without a permit. Always wear eye and ear protection and exercise caution when using in populated areas. Other loud noises like air horns can work as well. And even a do-it-yourself noisemaker can do the trick. You can make a clapper board by hinging two two by fours and snapping them together. Persistence is the key. Canada geese raised in or accustomed to feeding in an area will be more difficult to move. Harass them multiple times a day if possible. But please note, harassment is completely ineffective from mid-June to early July 
when geese molt their primary flight feathers and are unable to fly. Egg and nest destruction is a sure way to lower the population of geese. Egg addling, removing or oiling eggs, prevents the embryo from developing. You either take the eggs from the nest or put corn oil on them. Do this early, around mid-March to April 1st. Eggs and nests can also be destroyed, but as Canada geese are a federally protected species, a permit is required. Seasonal hunting reduces the number of birds in an area and repels others. It can also make non-lethal methods, such as pyrotechnics, more effective. All the methods described earlier have been found effective in controlling Canada geese populations on lakes, ponds, and their surrounding landscape. If you decide this is something you do not want to attempt on your own, you can contact a local nuisance wildlife control operator. Thank you for watching.